As soon as Emily saw the abandoned house on the outskirts of town, she knew she had to explore it. There was something about the dilapidated structure that called to her, something that made her skin prickle with anticipation. It was as if the house had a secret, and Emily was determined to find it. So one night, she snuck out of her bedroom window and made her way to the house. The moon was full, casting an eerie glow on the barren landscape. Emily's heart was pounding as she approached the house, feeling a mixture of excitement and fear. The front door creaked open easily, and Emily stepped inside. The air was thick with dust and the musty smell of neglect. Cobwebs hung from the ceiling, and the floorboards groaned under Emily's feet. She made her way through the dark, silent house, her flashlight guiding her way. As she wandered deeper into the house, Emily began to hear strange noises, whispers in the darkness, and footsteps on the stairs, and something scratching the walls. She tried to ignore the sounds, telling herself that it was just her imagination. But fear inside her was growing stronger by the minute. Finally, Emily reached the top floor of the house. She pushed open a door and stepped into a room that seemed untouched by time. The walls were covered in peeling wallpaper, and an old four-poster bed stood in the center of the room. But what caught Emily's attention was a single piece of paper on the nightstand. She approached the paper and began to read. It was a letter from the previous owner of the house, detailing the strange occurrences that happened in the house. The owner had heard voices in the wall seen shadows moving across the ceiling, and felt a presence lurking in every corner. Suddenly, Emily heard a rustling sound behind her. She turned to see a figure standing in the door. It was a woman dressed in a tattered white gown, her hair hanging limply over her face. Emily tried to scream, but her voice was caught in her throat. The woman slowly approached Emily, her hand outstretched. Emily backed away, her heart racing with terror. But the woman kept coming closer, her eyes fixed on Emily with a hungry look. And then, just as suddenly as she had appeared, the woman vanished into thin air. Emily was left alone standing in the empty room, shaking with fear. She quickly made her way out of the house, running as fast as she could back to her own home. From that day on, Emily never went near the abandoned house again, but she could never forget the ghostly woman in the tattered white gown and the terror that had gripped her heart in that old, forgotten house.